transition just from maturing or from life experience changing my perspective on things and bringing a new style or point of view to my art. I haven't really drawn or painted anything in a long time, so I'm very interested to see how my style or technique will change once I do something again. I feel like when I paint again, I would like to go in a more illustrative direction with my art to take my cartoon characters and my painting techniques and kind of meld them together to be in the same world to see how that looks. Some of these paintings are from school and others are from being at home and just having fun doing a color study or just move around the paint and see what came out. So I hope after you watch this video that it might inspire you to do something creative like painting and not really worry about how it's going to look or what other people are going to think because the most important part of doing anything artistic is that you enjoy yourself. Tree had roots showing on the side, but then I decided to put these flowers over them. The trees lead up very thick. I remember someone saying that they kind of looked like octopus tentacles. I think these flowers were inspired by. 
brush is trying to get a little practice doing distance. It's a study for how big are the lines compared to this lamp. playing with all the different purples and making an abstract painting that I turned into the sky once I got my inspiration. But a lot of people say it looks stormy because of the angle of the clouds it looks windy. Um, over in this spot over here, I also add a little more oil paint. I added a very dark brown shadows by just tapping over here so that there's a different dimension of shadows not just black there would be a medium level of darkness in the ground I remember having a lot of fun trying to make Neon and reflective. Even over here, I put a couple different layers of yellow shattering. Try to give it a little more of a pop. It's a very minimalistic composition, but I worked on this for fun. nation of what goes on here. It's a very alien rubber back there. It'll be weird to see a whole hillside paved over with cement. paintings on the wall. It was a very special feeling for me because at that time I didn't know how to make paintings like this. I liked to think of it that I was looking inside my mind where the creative ideas are and kind of just walking around my own mind to what paintings were possible in the future. Professor 
this ink diamond. I think all three of these are either thrifted or got a garage sale. So they're very old. This blue color right there. That came right out of the tube. And it just mixed really nice with the color in the background. It just really popped out. And I had to concentrate really hard on all these different levels. chosen to be shown in a restaurant, um, in a restaurant near the mall that I used to live by. They hired me to set up my easel and paint while everybody had dinner. So it was like performance art with two different easels that they would set up and they tried to get two different artists to be painting for about three hours.
painters and special little certificates. The restaurant was called the Art Cafe. And the certificates were called Art Cafe Dollars or something. And they would give us $20 in Art Cafe Dollars. And I would spend it on a big picture of Sangria. And I used to have um, one of my two friends come in to sit at the other easel and they would buy food with their certificate and we would check in with each other throughout the night and it was a lot of fun but they had a couple of my paintings hanging up as decorations and this was one of them he was right by the bathroom in the hallway I was 20 years old when I painted New York from Philadelphia when I was 21 and it was in April and there was a lot of April showers and it was pouring rain when I did this. I was also influenced by Camilla Rose Garcia. She does a lot of water dripping for rain. her husband or some kind of little pet because I learned after I painted this that it's not good to have artwork in your house of people that are by themselves because psychologically
session that was about three hours just on the sky. I just kept working around all the different colors. This is oil paint. So when you work with oil, you're just blending, smudging, and just moving it around a lot to get the right kind of diffused glow. Almost the whole session as well. They got all these different colors. At the same time, I was going to the art cafe. I would have art painting parties with some of my friends. Uh, we would put on Bob Ross and
microscopic images that I have borrowed from the library. Um, I think this is some kind of atom or some kind of molecule. I don't remember. I remember figuring out all these different rings. It took me a while for what's overlapping what. It's over and under a little weave there. I knew for a while from my previous restaurant job, he also worked there. So he knew me since I was 21. And he was asking everybody on New Year's Day what they did for New Year's Eve. And it was the first time. my painting because it was a lot of fun to work on. I did this painting a year later when I was 26 using only the primary colors in acrylic. So it was just red, blue, and yellow that I mixed around a lot on the palette. I guess I had white Oh, man.
Everyone, my hand gets better and I can paint again. I'll pour a glass of wine. Seems to be what all these paintings are the product of, in a way. Well, a lot of them, not the ones when I was in school. This painting I made when I was 28, I made it with acrylic and a cutout that I had my friend print. This is an actual photograph that I found of outer space. That is the sky for this town that these people are in. When I look at this, I think about what life on planet Earth would be like if the sky was more sensational.
the regular.